At the video shoot that I met Pac at, you know, uh, in my neighborhood video shoot, uh, the Hughes brothers actually shot that video. The guys who shot Menace to Society actually shot the video in my neighborhood and um, or directed it. And, uh, you know, Pac showed up to the video and we sitting up there chilling and, you know, they there too. And they, you know, while me and Pac are sitting there chilling or whatever, smoking blunts or whatever, they come through and they like, um, you know, we want you guys to play in this movie that we working on and shit and we're going to get in touch with you and here's the details and here's our contacts and, you know, we want you to play this dude named O-Dog and we want you to play this this cat named uh, um, uh, Sharif. Either they wanted Pac to play Sharif or it was Kane. And, um, you know, we was with it. You know, it was like, cool. You know, hell yeah, let's do a movie together. Shit, you know. And, um, you know, that we was looking, really looking forward to that. Well, my management at the time um, just didn't fucking follow up on the uh, information and the, um, the opportunity and fucked it off as far as uh, being in the movie. Um, Pac followed up. They they uh, stayed in the, uh, in the loop. And... Uh, they start, you know, uh, shooting uh, scenes, and um, I had already did the soundtrack because they told me I wasn't gonna be in the movie. I was pissed off. I fired my manager, and I just started doing the, the uh, soundtracks. Uh, and um, after I finished the song, uh, I you know, I was going out to um, L.A. to shoot the video, and uh, you know, I. I off the plane, got off the plane, got off the plane, drunk as fuck. I drank hella Hennessy and shit. I was high, and um, you know, I was fucked up and feeling good. You know what I'm saying? So I get off the plane, and you know, Pac is pissed. You know, he picked me up from the airport. He's pissed off, and he like, you know, uh, he looked me in the face, and he had a newspaper, and he like, man, look at this shit. And he like threw the fucking newspaper in my lap, and he was like, man, read this shit. Look at this shit. And you know, and I'm still kind of fucked up, so but I can barely read the shit. And I'm just reading. I'm like, all I seen was Tupac comes to the set of the film high and drunk and can't remember his lines. And I'm like, that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I know damn well this nigga ain't coming. You know, he don't get down like that. So I'm like, you know, that's some bullshit. So I automatically got pissed off. Like, you know, they thought some motherfucking lie, man. What the fuck are they talking about? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we I'm talking shit. And he like, I'm going a, I'm to a beat they motherfucking ass. And so I'm drunk too and I'm like, you know, oh, nigga, you ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> like you ain't gonna do nothing, nigga. So I kept getting him fired up, you know what I'm saying? And shit. And he like, you know, I'm gonna beat that motherfucker out, beat his motherfucking ass. You know, not even knowing, you know, what was really gonna go to happen that day. You know, I went to my video shoot, not knowing that the Hughes brothers were gonna show up at all. You know, I didn't know they were gonna show up at the video. Um I just knew, knew, I, knew I was shooting my video and um, because they weren't even there. We were shooting a video and they wasn't there, so I'm, I didn't think they was going to show up. And, um, man, you know, while I'm recording a video, the uh, uh, guy was dude, the guy was playing uh, Kane, uh, Tyron Turner. He t kept tapping me on the shoulder, and he, you know, I'm like, you know, what the fuck, what the fuck, you know, and he tapped me on the shoulder, and I'm like, what the fuck, I'm trying to do the video, and he tapped me on the shoulder one more time, and then he, I'm like, what the fuck, you know, and he, and he points, and, and, and I see this 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 guy uh, running up the, um, he's running up the street, up the hill, uh, and he was covered with blood, dude, <laughs> he got had blood all over him and shit, and I'm like, you know, what the fuck is that, you know, but all I know is at the bottom of that hill is my thug life, niggas. Some of my niggas from Compton, some of my niggas from Oakland, you know, some of my dudes is down the bottom of that, that hill. You know, my cousins is down there, my people down there, my family is down there. Like, who did they fuck up and why is he, why, how did he get away? You know what I'm saying? So I headed for, to proceed to clothesline his ass back down the hill. You know, I was running full speed to just, bop, you know, whop his ass back down the hill and shit, you know, <laughs> until I got close up on him and realized who it was. And it was, I think it was Alan uh, Hughes. And I was like, oh, shit, you know, like, fuck. You know, I told them niggas, hey, man, cut that shit. You know, what the fuck y'all doing? Hey, dude, this, this the homie, what the fuck y'all doing? Y'all beating up the producer? And I'm thinking Pac must be down there. Like, oh, shit, he must have, oh, shit. And so, I, you know, I realized what had happened at that 
at that point in time, and I just, you know, call an ambulance for uh, Alan and his brother. I don't know where his brother went, and then, you know, it was just all big mess, dude, you know. Um, then, you know, like, I think I seen Pac a few days later, and we switched hats. He was like, man, give me that Spice One hat. You know, I need that shit, you know what I'm saying? I was like, well, give me that hat. And then I took the Tupac hat, and we, I went in, you know, I went to eight's video, MC8's video, and Hughes Brothers was there, and they was looking at me with the Tupac hat on, like, you got his fucking hat on, you son of a bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> like, that's my homie, man. I didn't have nothing to do with that shit. And if you are listening, if, you, if the Hughes Brothers are listening, I didn't have nothing to do with that shit, man. Y'all brought that shit on yourself. Pac was mad as fuck over that shit. I don't know how I got in the newspaper, but that nigga was mad. You know, so I mean, hey, shit. I couldn't, I couldn't avoid none of that shit. The, 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 the last thing. Oh, yeah.